Amanda here and today I'm going to show you how to make a cute baby uh, page with uh, Creativa paints from Mintai Papers. I'm starting with white cardstock from a Mintai basic line. Uh, you can find white 12 by 12 paper in this line and craft 12 by 12 paper in this line. They are very sturdy. Uh, the uh, shade of white is just perfect. It's not too cold, not too warm and it's really really nice to work with this paper. I'm starting with sketching a kind of a whimsical rainbow with my pencil and I'm adding five um, strips uh, into my rainbow and I will be coloring each with those uh, chalk paints from Creativa series. I will add in the description box link uh, to the video about the qualities of this paint um before i would able to paint i had to um mix the paint which is totally normal that uh, the liquid part separates from the chalky part so you need to mix the paint before you use it and uh, i cut it out this part of mixing um, but i haven't used my paints for a while that's why it kind of separated and i started with the yellow color called lemon and the second color uh, is called peach and again i am mixing everything and when the paint is smooth i am I'm ready uh, to paint with it um, and I'm applying everything with a flat brush because I thought it will be easier to sustain the straight lines on the edges which is like kind of a good idea the colors may seem dark for you right now but this is the quality of the chalk paint that when it's wet it's quite dark when it dries it changes the color shade a lot so it's much much lighter when it's uh, when it's dry already and now it's time for the third color this one is called sand and as you can see this is not a <laughs> like a real a rainbow so it doesn't have all the rainbow colors i wanted to match the colors to the collection i was going to use and to this overall cute baby theme um so uh, i will be working with um tiny miracles uh tiny miracle collection and there is this is the baby line with this kind of a versatile and no gender um, like specific color palette with beiges uh, a little bit of red a little bit of yellow so i thought uh, those uh, colors will be just perfect and i was right so i am happy uh, that i choose those now it's time for a tomato creative a paint that looks like a bloody red right now but first is just the quality of um, the video and the second the paint is still wet it will not be that red when it will be dry those colors when they are wet they wouldn't match the tiny miracle collection but when they are dry and muted they are just perfect you can water down the paint too and use less um, opaque version so it can be uh, more translucent uh, whatever <laughs> float your boat and as you can see i made a boo boo um, so i need to cover it but uh, do not worry the brown color will uh, cover the red spot um, with ease because the paint coverage is really great the chalk paint coverage is really great so i'm not afraid well i have the second splatter um and those <laughs> i will have to hide some other way so just be careful uh, when you are applying the paint so this is the last strip of my rainbow and after it will be done i will leave everything to air dry you can rush it with the heat gun but it will make the paper warp a bit because every time when you hit the paper it kind of tends to warp so air drying is for me the best solution to keep your uh, paper as flat as possible so i'm just going to leave it for a few minutes uh, go, uh hang some uh wash uh, washed clothes and i am back everything is ready and dry and i can finish my page i'm starting with packing the picture with the piece of the uh, cardstock 
I am using cardstock for bigger surfaces because it's cheaper than um, uh, foam tape or foam sheets. And I took this beige color of a dotted pattern from baby book uh, to back the picture. And I'm also using a 12 by 12 paper from a Tiny Miracle collection, the pink uh, dots and the sweater pattern to add strips on top and on in the bottom of my page to kind of create a frame around it. So I'm just... Uh, <laughs> searching for a right size and I will be layering one paper on another and I will be ruffling the edges, uh, edges, edges later so it will have some texture and it seems like ages <laughs> because it took me a while to find the perfect length. I don't know, it, it's like such a tiny detail and no one would notice it but you know everything has to be in a perfect size perfect alignment so it took me a while to find this sweet spot but uh, i promise you i found it i glued it down it didn't take me that long and the overall um, time for making this page was about an hour uh, the longest part was embellishing I think drying was like 10 minutes uh, painting was quite quick uh, especially if your paints are already mixed so it's even faster uh, and I'm gluing down the layers uh, on the top and on the bottom those are exactly the same uh, papers remember when you are gluing something on top of the chalk paint add extra glue even if it's a sticker the chalk paint has like this chalky uh, residue and it can make the stickers unstick so go generous with your glue um, and uh, you will see later that even with the stickers I still added some extra liquid glue and it takes a while for the glue to dry on um, chalk paint so it's good to kind of press it with something heavy and leave it for a minute or two and the glue will hold and this is the part when uh, where i am ruffling the edges and adding some texture uh, i'm tearing the paper a little bit and i will tack some elements behind it later you can of course if you prefer more clean look leave it like it is uh, it won't change the design uh, um, that much you can of course change the colors in the rainbow at more strip change the shape to just keep the idea and uh, you can kind of alter my uh, layout you don't have to make something exactly the same I have the plate full of element fussy cut it from paper number nine this is the extra paper uh, in every collection with some elements for embellishing this collection didn't come with uh, die cuts it only had stickers um, it was pre die cut era so you will have to fussy cut all your embellishments so no cheating here <laughs> it's a true labor i'm going through the whole sheet uh, fussy cut it here and i picked some elements that i think will look good on my page and i'm pre-arranging elements before i will commit to gluing them down as you can see one of the stars is hiding uh, the boo-boo i made previously like a splatter so i'm just layering everything and uh, when i will be happy with how it looks i will start gluing down things i'm also mixing in some stickers uh, from the cardboard sticker sheet and again remember about adding extra glue if you are sticking uh, on top of the chalk paint i usually add extra glue under each sticker regardless if it's a mint eye sticker or any other because um, sometimes the sticker glue isn't that good and elements fall apart when you uh, keep your uh, layout in albums stored vertically so here it is i glued down all the elements already adding glue and some foam tape uh, adding some uh, stickers and the design is almost finished and now it's time for the title it will be my pot of gold uh, which is because 
at the end of the rainbow there is waiting a pot of gold uh, watched by leprechaun uh, so this is the <laughs> children's story and uh, this is my pot of gold. I do not need money. I just need my babies be happy and be uh, and smiling. And this little <laughs> chappy uh, girl is like, um, I don't know, <laughs> heaven sent for me. So this is my treasure. She is my treasure and hence the title, my pot of gold. So she was fun. She's uh, at the end of the rainbow, which fits perfectly to the story. And uh, I'm using some uh, gold foil thickers, but I didn't have a T letters, so I mixed it from the um, number one and some tail from other letter. And uh, finishing touch of this page is adding some gold splatters. I'm using a mist uh, with this gold metallic finish, and I'm splashing everything to make it less clean and make this white area a little bit um, less eye poking. I don't know how to explain it. I just like mess on pages and I don't like very clean white look. That's why I always add some splatters. So here it is. My page is finished and it's a perfect moment because sun was uh, shining through my shades already. And here are some close-ups of my page. I uh, I will list all the products I, I use in the description box. I hope you like my idea and you will reach for creativa paints more often thank you so much for staying with me and see you soon bye